Audacity actually has some built-in options to change the colour scheme of the interface. To do this, you can go to Edit and then Preferences. Then if you go to Interface, you have all of the main display options here. By default, you will typically have the light theme as shown here. If you go to Classic, and I should mention that when you select the theme colour, it doesn't preview it, unfortunately, so you have to just press OK to check it out. But this is the Classic view. And the only real difference is that it just changes the kind of background to a light grey rather than the dark blue. So I'm going to go back to Preferences. If you're looking for something more like a classic dark theme, which has become a standard for most applications, it does have a couple of options. So there is the actual dark theme here, and it makes most of the objects dark grey, and you can see that the waveform has this cool orange effect. I use this one because it's pretty simple and it kind of has everything I need for a dark application and it just makes it a bit easier on the eyes when you're doing a lot of editing. Going back, there is also another dark mode and it's called high contrast mode. And I believe this was created more for accessibility reasons for people with impaired eyesight. So it just makes everything super either black or green. And it might not be for everyone's taste. It is looking a bit like matrixy and things like that, but it is also a kind of fully dark mode, I suppose, because most of the objects are either black or green, so this is also a good option to use. Then lastly, it also gives you this custom option. Now if you actually select it and then just press OK, you'll see that it goes back to the default colour theme. The reason behind this is to actually fully create a custom interface you have to do a bit of programming and a bit of rooting around the actual directory in Audacity. So unfortunately, it's not made super easy to do. The team who made Audacity does have a tutorial on how to make custom themes. So I will link that in the video description in case you want to have a look. But for now, I'm just going to go back and select the dark theme because I'm pretty happy using that when I edit. So that's good enough for me. So I hope you found this quick video useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and as always, I will see you in the next video.